folks. We are shed hunting again today. We're in the same spot as last time we found that, that little two point side. Now there's absolutely no snow on the ground. So I'm gonna go back over this again to see if I can find anything that I missed. And then I'm gonna push back a little farther to where I think there'd be a good spot to set up. So it's about 30 acres total. Um, so I'm gonna try to cover that all today. It's March 17th. And hopefully I brought along that two point side to maybe match them up. I'll go look back around where I found it and see if I can match it up. But hopefully I find a little bit bigger one today. So let's get to it and I will show you what we find. Well, I thought I found the first shed of the day. Look at this thing. It's even got a brow tine. <laughs> Laying up like this on the ground. Thought I found one. But I didn't. I'm right in the spot where I found that, that, that shed, so. I'm almost done with what I uh, searched through last time, and then I'm gonna drop down over this hill and uh, search another maybe 10 acres. So, let's get going. I just marked down a, a really nice bed right by that tree, right below it. And uh, looks really nice. There's a bed, another bed behind it. Buck shit all over the place. I come out one of the exit trails, and bam, there's a shed. And it might be the match. Um, it's got a small brow tine, but I'm only maybe 50 yards from where that other shed is, or was, yes, last time. So here it is. Kind of hard to see here in the sun, but all right, let's get in there and get it. All right, well, here's the one from last time, and here's the other one, it's the same side, so it's definitely not a match. So, all right, so there it is, it's tiny, it's it's fresh, not not a couple days old, but probably a week. So this might not have been here when I was here the last time. So now I got this little guy and this little guy. But that means now there's two sets I gotta find. But this is my 12th shed, so I'm now up to a dozen. Um, I found this is my fourth one so far this year, and uh, I got that one uh, one that I found that was that was busted off in the skull. So I'm, I'm assuming that's probably a uh, just a, a roadkill deer and something drug it down there, or it broke off, and somehow it ended up 60 or 70 yards down in the woods. Um, but it was just too much skull to be a shed, so I'm not counting that one. But this is my dozen, my 12th shed so far. So. I'm up to a dozen. It's a good start. Let's find some more. Pretty nice buck track crossing that creek right there. I'm almost over to where I want to be set up if I'm gonna hunt here, but we'll have to go find a spot because it is loaded with beds, so it's gonna be very tough to get in this place, so. Let's keep going. All right, folks, I am walking out. I'm walking along the field in the woods. Just checking the field and some trails going in, but I'm beat. Let's see how many miles I've walked so far today. Only found that one. If 
5.07 miles, so five miles so far. 10,780 steps as we speak, so. <clears throat> All right, folks, I'm done for today. Walked just over five miles. I only found one, this one. I found this little guy here. And then a week, last week, I found this guy here. Thought it might have been a match, but it's the same side. So, that's, that's 12 sheds in my life so far. I only started shed hunting about two years ago. Got real serious about it. I, I, I took walks before, but never knew where to look and all that. But did some some research and watched some some tip videos and been finding a lot more. I'm up to four this year. Found five last year, so and I haven't done any of my private land. Well, one spot um, and all the rest of pu public. So I'm gonna start doing the private land next weekend. And uh, hopefully we pick up a couple more and have a great year. But it was the same spot. They were about 50 yards apart of each other. So they might be traveling together. But that's it for me. I'll catch you guys uh, next time. Hope probably next Saturday. Take care.